reading this book, right? We've all read it. I mean, I would say that uh, 90% of the interviews that I do on Wholesaling Inc., um, people have read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It turned something on. It was like a light switch in their brain, and they're like, oh, my gosh, I get it. I don't want to be an employee. I want to work for myself. I want to build a business, and then I want to be an investor, right? So l take a look at this, all right? This is where we start. We start right here, right? This is from this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. We start getting into the cash flow quadrant. How does cash flow in a professional setting? First, you know, you've got your employee, self-employed, business owner, and investor. Now, when you make the decision to become a real estate entrepreneur, you really get into this spot right? Typically, you don't have the funds yet to really be a business owner. You don't have the systems in place. You don't have the operations in place. You don't have the accountability structure set up so that you can truly be a business owner and kind of pull yourself out as the visionary and really the one that, that sees the goals, sees the big, big, big goals, but you don't really have the day-to-day -day details, nuances put together yet. So you're in there, right? You start out, you're doing this part-time, you're making calls, you're making calls, you're texting, you're following up with leads, you're going on the appointments, you're getting these properties under contract. This is being a self-employed person, right? This is like, um, it, it, to, I always put this into this context. This is LeBron James, right? LeBron gets paid to dribble basketball, shoot it, do amazing things, be a athlete, right? Be a, he's self-employed at that point, all right? He's working for himself, essentially. He's not the business owner. The business owner is the Lakers, okay? That's the difference here, right? There's a big, big difference on what that looks like because here you can only get paid based on your own efforts. So then you start building and you start replacing your income and you start doing this full time, which means you put more effort and action into it, which means that you get more results, which means that your bank account gets the four H's. What are those? Happy, heavy, and uh, happy, right? Healthy, happy, heavy, right? Yes. One of those? Yeah. Mike's dying. Uh, anyway, that, you, you start building that up and then all of a sudden you become a business owner. Oh, yeah. And then it looks like this. This is, this is how a business structure is, right? You've got the visionary. You've got the integrator, right? This is the person that takes this and really keeps things accountable, really sets up, really is running things, really making sure that all the operations are running smoothly, everything's greased and running smoothly. And then you've got three parts of your business, sales and marketing, that's obvious, we know what that is. Uh, the operations, we know what that is. That's making sure that all of these transactions, all of these deals are getting done. That's picking out contractors. If you're doing flips, that's property management. All of those things is on operations. And then you've got finance, which makes sure that you have enough cash to be able to do what you need to do to fund your business and invest you, in, into assets as a business. But what usually happens here, let me explain something. This is what I this this is what's happened to me. This is what happens to most people as they're really growing a business. Somebody's this, and then a 50-50 business partner is this. That's the truth, right? Listen, he's better at the numbers, he's more reliable, he's more analytical, and she is the one with the big vision, right? And she's the one that has these good goals and big plans and knows how to push and is going and really is like the leader and really bringing that energy and enthusiasm. And then this guy is the one that is making sure everything's getting done, right? And typically this is a 50-50 partnership, but you know, if you've been watching, um, watching a, a lot of, you know, content on this channel or whatever else, you know that 50-50 is rough for me, right? It was, this is what I did for a long time. And when I started coaching, this is what I was at. I had a business partner called Dustin. And when I started coaching in 2017, he's like, you know what? I'm going to just, I don't want to get into that. I just want to run a little business. I don't want this thing to get big. I just want to do my thing. And so he bounced, right? So then I started playing both of these Right, I started getting into both of these and I had my dad who was coming in. He's had a ton of business experience. He was coming in, he was helping out and he was getting into this role. It was a couple of years later, it was 2019. I was very excited, this is my dad. We've never worked together, it's fantastic. And then he looked at me and he's like, Brent, honestly, I'm 65 years old. You're running at a fast pace. Like I just, you know, I wanna travel with your mom. I wanna do things. So uh, at that same time, 
good friends of mine, Cody Hoffine and Mark Stubler, were putting together a franchise called Joe Homebuyer. And it was a perfect marriage. We had really, really, really close, um, uh, common, um, uh, uh, like big, uh, I don't even, what, what would you say? What, what would you call it? Like the, the, the same synergy. ideals, synergy, like the same way pro business processes, pr being very proactive, being, bringing a lot of energy to this business. So I bought a Joe home buyer and integrated into here. If you like that video, hit that subscribe button. We come out with new videos every single day. And if you want your questions answered, like you and I, one-on-one, -on -one, make sure that you join us for the live show every single Wednesday. I will see you there.